everybody and welcome to Jurassic World, the game where I always started saying, where well, there's been an update. Well, actually, there's a really big thing coming to the game. Uh, th this is the first time this has ever happened um, and it's going to change like the, uh, the whole way you battle is going to change with the glaciers. So let's have a look. What, James? What are you talking about? So these are the glacier creatures. Um, and recently, Ludia has posted an update on their forums as to what's going to change about these uh, creatures. I luckily have it already saved on my phone, but for you guys, uh, I'll probably put it uh, up right now. And a lot of creatures that... Um, <laughs> it's, it's actually really big changes. So pretty much, I think everything in the game... For the glaciers, snow, well, by that I mean the snow, the cavern, the savannah, all of these, all 37. In fact, if I go, it's probably a better way of seeing them all, actually. And we go to Cenozoic. Yes, all these creatures are getting nerfs, buffs, and in some cases, class changes. That's right, we're talking about creatures that, in some instances, are rare, are now becoming legendary. Um, not only is this going to change uh, maybe hybrids, uh, or potential hybrids, and even, um, like, battle and defense, it's going to change their DNA cost. So, <clears throat> don't worry, I'm going to tell you which creatures you should probably buy loads of, because it's a good investment, because there's no way that a, a legendary is going to be more less expensive than a rare, even when it's changed like this. Um, and, I mean... Hopefully you're lucky enough to have done some of the events so that you have some of these creatures. The uh, Arctodus. So if we go to the snows. Arctodus, where are you? There. The bear is being changed from a rare to a legendary. Uh, in, in other words, at max level... Uh, let's go to him. At max level, this guy at the moment has 821 health and 246 attack. Okay. So he's going from 821 health to 2,700. That's an increase of almost 2,000 health. And 246 attack to 821 attack. So 2, 4, 6. You're talking about an attack increase of almost four times. Uh, this is one of the, the biggest differences from the snows. Um, so if you want a creature um, to probably level up, I would say, or at least get loads of, and you have this unlocked, get the bear. Jesus, get the bear. <laughs> Going from a red to a legendary, that's crazy status. Unfortunately, I don't have too many of those. Um, the next one from the snow that really is a big one is the Protodon. Again, this weird guy, he's going from a rare to a legendary status again. Um, but the, the weird thing is there's like some sort of key. There's legendary and then there's tournament legendary. So the bear's going to a tournament legendary creature. This guy is just going to a legendary. Um, so, I mean, let's have a look. What What is he changing to? Diprotodon. Diprotodon. So he's only getting about 300 attack. Sorry, 60 attack and 300 health. So it's nothing too crazy. Another big change. Uh, is the hybrid, the Smithosaurus, this one. Um, and you'll see why in a minute why he's changing. Um, so he's going from a super rare hybrid to a legendary, well, sorry, legendary hybrid. So is in fact actually getting a little bit of a nerf in the health, losing 500 health and gaining almost a thousand attacks. So pretty good. Smilodon, yes, the, the little kitty is going from a super rare to a tournament legendary. Another good one, just like the bear. Not as good increase. I mean, in fact, let's have a look. It's gaining almost double the health. Sorry, double the, yeah, double the health and 600 extra attack. So pretty darn good. Now, if we go to the savannas, let's have a quick look at the savannas. Um, the biggest change is coming from caverns, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> so, uh, savannas. Anything too crazy? We've got a few going from rare to super rare. Nothing's going down, fortunately. Most things are going up. Um, there's Klenikin. Klenikin's really the only big difference, going from a super rare to a legendary tournament creature. Um, Phosphoracus as well. Um, this guy is going to a legendary status. Uh, Unitarium actually is quite a big change, going from a bronze to a legendary. Um, and Utinotherium, is that the hybrid? Um, we've, we've got to have a look 
at the these guys because this guy especially the mammotherium is a really good creature at the moment however and i can't believe this because he has so much attack so at max level 4566 attack he's now gonna have 1,400. That's a decrease of 3,000 attack. I've, I'm, oh my god. And I bought a lot of these and fused them together. His health is kind of staying the same. At, uh, well, 8,700 to 7,900. Still losing 700, uh, which is a gosh darn shame. The one who's kind of winning is Indricaceres, who's gaining 600 health and losing 200 attack. As far as a trade-off, this thing gets off much lighter than the Mammotherium. Right, okay, we've seen some ups, we've seen some downs. And there, of course, each, each cre every creature is either gaining or losing. Nothing is staying the same as far as I can tell. The biggest change is coming from caverns. Um, if we have a look, uh, legendary, legendary, Brontotherium. Yeah, it stays the same. So here we go. We've got some big changes. We've got Andrew Sarkis, which is the wolf. Uh, do I even have it? Uh, I should do. Yeah, this guy turning into a legendary. Really good. Um, other ones. Ermetherium, which is this big sloth, turning to a legendary. This is something I always asked when they made these creatures. Like, why have rares when you don't even have commons? Just have super uh, legendary, you know. Oh, hi. I'll just have anything legendary. Uh, Glyptodon, this guy. Big jump. Rare to legendary, gaining a lot of health and attack in both regards. Actually, yeah, doubling its health and attack, really. Uh, but the biggest, and I mean biggest change, is Pancaceres. This guy is now a legendary at the moment, which is it's pretty decent. But it's changing to a VIP dinosaur, or creature, I should say, because it's not really a dinosaur. And you know me, if you've played this game for so long, you should know the VIP creatures are so good. So going from 2,500 attack, sorry, health, 2,500 health, to 6,200 health. A huge increase. And going from 423 attack to 1,047 attack. Doubling its attack even more and quadrupling its health. And because it's a, it's a loyalty, which means you're only going to get it by purchasing VIP points or, you know, earning them, now's your chance. Put these in to your incubators. I would say do it. The, when it, Hopefully this update isn't out in four days so that we get another chance to put another four in. And we're going to have a really freaking good Glacier creature. And if you're interested at all um, and you just want to speed run, maybe you just want to put all your books into this, another really good creature to add into the list is, of course, uh, Arctodus, which is going from a rare to a legendary. That's a jump of two uh, statuses, um, and it gains a lot in comparison. So we're going to see the whole Glacier Arena battle creatures changing. Everything is going to change. Um, maybe they're doing this to get ready for some hybrids. Uh, oh, I never got the reindeer. Damn it. Oh, it looks so cool. No, no, via special event. <gasps> that must have been a tournament thing. Ah, one of those battle, like, the it's a whiteout. It must have been or something like that. But there you have it. Those, I mean, I you you can find, I'll probably, um, you've put the, I've put the pictures up in the video. You can pause it, have a look, really double check, go over, find a way to best suit you in getting your bang for your buck or DNA. Um, but... How about we get on with the rest of the video? Hold on. Let's let's just have a look at this. VIP people who are paying money have this opportunity to spend 11,000 bucks on Brontotherium. We just got to say, Lydia, giving the people spending money the, the good deals. <laughs> good God. And me, who's now no longer spending money, I get to change 25 million coin into 1,500, 1,500 DNA. I'm going to do that. Woohoo! So... Uh, right, We're, we've also got some other battles to do. We've got a stakeholders visit, we've got Ariel Sutton, and of course the Alpha 06, which I have not done. Uh, so I need to get it to level 7 in order to get um, the uh, VIP points that I need. I'm just going to spend some coin because we do have a mission that I need to do. Um, because we've got one more battle left to go. We're still leveling up, remember guys? We're still leveling up, and of course we've got missions to do. 
Um, there's, there's just loads. I mean, I, I'm trying. I'm racking my brain, wondering why Ludian, and as of all times now, are deciding to change the glacier. And I don't think I'm wrong in saying that this is pretty much the biggest shakeup we've ever had when it came to this game in terms of battle and dinosaurs or creatures. Uh, and the mods that you see right before your very eyes. Uh, these things, um, d they changed it, but you don't really see them too often, and they're only used in specific battle arenas. Oh, beautiful! Oh, yes, give me all of the attack down, health up, all that jazz, and some loyalty points. I'm not gonna say no. Well, I'll probably just get, keep on clicking the rare one, because we'll get to 8 million, and we'll only be able to do two of those by the time we get there. Um, so, yeah, I, like... I'm amazed. I am stunned and actually very, I don't know, bewildered and, and I don't know about... Oh, wait, what? We got another pack? Th that bewilders me and lots of tough skin. That was a new mod. Um, of the the amount of support that these videos still get, I think a lot of you... I mean, I could be wrong. You can tell me in the comments. Um, either do, do you still play this game or do you, are you now... Because I remember seeing... Um, comments and I've met people at meet and greets um, that have said, oh, I stopped playing this game a long time ago. I just watched you play it. <laughs> I said, you know what? Why not? There's also, oh man, I went to the YouTuber Gaming Summit, the first one ever. Uh, oh, thank you so much for YouTube for inviting me. Um, and while I was there, we had a talk. There was um, a, I can't remember her name, but she's written a book. She's made a game on how we, uh, like gaming affects the brain and how it's actually very good. Um, so it, it stimulates the hippocampus, which is the learning area of the brain, and also a certain part of the brain, I can't remember the name of it, um, which allows for you to think that good things can happen. Um, and also, she's, they've done tests where they've noticed when people are playing games together, even you watching me right now, are syncing up with what I'm doing. Uh, so. I mean, we're, we're probably not going to be syncing up uh, heartbeats and breathing uh, because I'm talking loads. <laughs> but under normal circumstances, when two people play games, their brains start to sync up, they start to ha get the same heartbeat rhythm, and they start breathing the same. Um, and these are really strange findings. Um, and also, you, when you're playing a game, you're more likely to solve problems. So. Uh, if you do 10 minutes, if you play 10 minutes of a game and then go straight to a real life problem, you're more likely to find a solution or easier uh, solution to it. So, you know what? We, we, we got a mod. Phew. 60 DNA. I'll take it. And then uh, we'll just click on that Apatosaurus. I get 60 million. Uh, also, we got to do that. Get that. Got to get a pack as well. Even more DNA. Unfortunately, we won't get any random legendaries, but I'm okay because we're no longer VIPs. I don't think you can get it. Can you get a legendary? No, you can get a rare. You used to be able to get legendaries out there. I, I have scored a few in the past from that. Like, uh, uh, well, I'm trying to think. What was the Demorphodon? Berries! That one. We've, we have scored that one in the past. Um, so is there anything? I was gonna I was gonna do something before we started battling. Because uh, I wanted to take on that. Yeah, I am now I'm over halfway. Well, I'm almost halfway. Collecting coins from buildings. Um, oh yeah, that's right. Sorry. There's so much to cover. It's 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 awesome. So if you if you've been around the game, there is a new T-Rex in town. It is the Tyrannosaurus Rex Gen 2. Now, this really reminds me of the Brawlosaurs. And I always said, or you know, in my videos, I said, Ludia, you know what you should do? You should make like the Lost World T-Rex. You know, maybe change the, the sculpt a tiny bit. But if you're gonna do anything, and if you can't afford or want to spend the resources changing the sculpt on this, how about you change the skin? How about you just paint it a little bit differently? That would be so cool. But now we've got gens in. We don't... Brawlosaurs actually are... You can no longer use Brawlosaurs. They are no longer support. And it's... Uh, I, I, this didn't... I have no idea when this happened. I have no... All of a sudden, I remember... I, I either went to Frontier... Uh, not Frontier, sorry, my bad. Uh, I went to Ludia when I went to Montreal and I saw their officers. I think it was mentioned there that... Oh yeah, Brawlosaur support's being stopped. I was like, wait, what? So you, you used to click on the middle building here and it used to bring up a scan code or you go into settings and you scan. Look, you'd click that. You'd click that right there. But no, you can no longer scan 
brolosaurs. And I think that has to do with something to do with their partnership with Hasbro. Because you, if you know, you know you've watched my unboxing videos, Hasbro no longer has the license to Jurassic World. So obviously they had maybe a two, three, four year um, license. And then when that got cut, they didn't renew because they don't have them anymore. And we lost our brolosaurs. But really, they never did anything with Brawlosaurs. Whether this is because Ludia knew they were going to lose the license, so they didn't bother uh, updating the models, uh, sorry, the in-game features, because they're all level 1s. Didn't matter what creature you had, it was a level 1. So unless you were starting out, um, it, I mean, they were like Amiibos. Were they Amiibos before Amiibos happened? I don't know. Either way, it was a really good idea. Uh, it's just such a shame, such a shame. Hold on, hold on. So we went over to the T-Rex. Sorry, this is how you wear out my voice. You just give me so much to do. So we're going to learn a little bit about it. Tyrannosaurus Rex Gen 2 Instinctive Attraction... Oh, Instinctive Attraction... Gen 2's Instinctive Attraction to Scent and Movement makes her virtually unable to ignore changes in her surroundings, even on a full stomach. So we're talking about an even more uh, crazy... Uh, oh... Even at level 40, it kind of looks the same. Obviously, it's going to be brown or something. So this guy at level 40, it's... It's 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 just a glorified T-Rex. I don't think it's much better, even though it's got 386 health and 80 attack at level 1. I think if you go into market and you go into carnivores, I've probably got a T-Rex waiting to hatch. So at level 40, a normal T-Rex, 600 attack, 1,600 health. A Gen 2 T-Rex, however. Uh, oh, these are hybrids. Oh, is it the other way? No, I don't have one to hatch, do I? How do I get another Gen 2 T-Rex? No. Where is it? Hold on, hold on. I can I can find out, can't I? I can just go in here. This creature is currently unavailable. Please check back later. What? I can, you can only have one? I've seen people max it. Oh, of course. Uh, they're hackers, aren't they? So. <laughs> or uh, I should say they download an app and then go, gimme, gimme, gimme. Um, well, there we go. That's that new creature. I mean... It's kind of, now it's not really usable, <laughs> I've got to be honest, at least to where I am. Um, so we need to get Alpha 06 up to level 7. Um, so we'll go for Mastodonosaurus, and then... Eh, I think that's, that's pretty decent. I think that's pretty decent. Oh, it looks so good. I love it. I freaking love it. Sorry, we went fast with the animation there. So... I mean, we got level two instantly. We just whap it once and it falls over. Who fell over? He did. He fell over. So boss level two. I like it. It makes him look like he's got fat cheeks. Because he's got the spikes there. Oh my god. You know, I just had a flashback of when Omega 09 first came out. Jesus. That was ages ago. It was so long. Oh, hello. Ooh, Whitney's calling us. Hello. I am recording, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Little happy interruption, eh? <laughs> well, we're already at level three. Oh, it's still enough. Level four, five, six, seven. We've got three more levels. However, the health doesn't go up too much when it uh, comes to these bosses. But the attack does. The attack doubles. But I'm pretty sure the health doesn't really go up too much. It used to. It used to double every time. So we can't kill him in... Ooh. Oh, no, we can. We can kill him in one hit still. Well, you know what? I'm not going to risk it. He can kill me in three or four, I think. Ooh. So one, two, one, two, and then four. So even if we don't get him, which we do, two more levels. Come on. We can do it. And, you, like, I love these bosses because not only do you, you know get VIP, uh, sorry, super DNA from them, but they're just a really good way of grinding DNA if you want them. And it, it's kind of fun because the more, oh God, here it comes. Whoa, wallop. Uh, the more, the more times you do the events, the bigger the DNA is. So it's, it's, there's more incentive. So we kill him in two. So may as well do that. And just in case he had one extra, I know he went for eight, but <laughs> You never know. I might have forgotten. I might have been stupid. That wouldn't be the first time that it's been caught on video and recorded. You don't have to say it, God. Although I would be quite interested. Which which uh, bit was it? <laughs> which which uh, scenario do you remember? Oh, two. Oh, that's enough. Oh, and I got this guy level 40, didn't I? Yes. 
But we've definitely done one mission, which is like do a thousand damage or something like that. I mean, really, it wouldn't stand a chance against Omega. Sorry, Alpha. Is it Alpha? Alpha 04? 06. Damn, I was so close. Omega and Alpha. So this, I mean, an Omega, right? That's the bottom of the pack, isn't it? And Alpha is the top of the pack. I would never have looked at Omega and thought, that ah, that's a runt of the litter. <laughs> oh, it looks so cool. I love that. Oh, we got a super. We got a super one. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. I did the 500. Oh, use four rare creatures one and block, block 10 times. 10 attack points. Well, I blocked one apparently. Uh, so now let's do this. Is it a... Oh, it's a Carnoraptor. Oh, I'm terrible. I'm terrible at the iPad at these. Okay, these I can do, right? It's just the bottom one. I don't know whether to tap with my thumb or my finger. I don't know. I tap with my finger. There we go. And this is good. I mean, if this game, if you think back when this, this game first launched and the like battle events weren't really a thing you'd only get them in card packs and they were they weren't really optimized and oh it was just horrendous but this game just came so far when you think about it, in the grand scheme of things yes we've lost books yes vip points now or like vip membership is definitely not worth it but if you think of how far we've came there we go beautiful only 115 did we get five then it must be five yeah only five. Oh, but let's go for another five. Ooh, Soprano Titan. Okay, is it going to be a little bit trickier? Let's see. Now, if it start, if, if you do one of these and it starts out with the timeline on the bottom, the, you know, the, the the timer thing, you you have to do that three times, I think. I think that's the worst. I, it's only ever happened to me once or twice. But even though it's in heaven once or twice, I've remembered it. Because it's bloody scarring. Because <laughs> if you do it once, you're like, oh my god, yes, I did it. And then the it comes up the second time. And then if you do it then, you're like, oh my god. And then it comes the third time, and you'll probably miss it. Because it gets faster and faster. So with this one, we'll probably only have to do two. Yeah, like the Carnoraptor. Uh, come on. There we go. Another 115, is it? 115. You see, if you only have really good creatures out, then you only get really good ones. But, I mean, then you get no coin. So, there we go. That's 32 Upocephalus DNA and 32 Indoraptor DNA. Ooh! Grab the new update. Enjoy this. <gasps> Lydia, you shouldn't have. Also, if you go in the link in the description below, uh, you can, uh, as long as you open it on the device that you play the game on, uh, you can get free books, free VIP points, all that lovely jazz. I still need to go through all my videos. I say every video. I say I should go back and get like uh, 10,000 bucks. And you know what? I'll do it. After this video is done and it's rendering, I'll do that. I'll just go... <laughs> Let's go through. Watch all my videos. Um, so we've done the boss. Right, okay, let's have a look at this. Is there anything here that's worth it? I mean, the VIP points are okay, but it's going to be, yeah, super hard creatures. How about the aerial assault? I don't think that'll be too tough. Oh, does it say one ter one pterosaur? And, oh my god. Wow, okay. Uh, one pterosaur. One pterosaur, you say? Uh, well, let's put, let's put those three in, right? And let's put in... Oh, well, we only need one pterosaur, don't we? Um, right, okay. So this time I can use two herbivores. Next time I can only use one herbivore. And then the final time I have to only use one creature. And that's going to have... Sorry, what? like only Trondons. That's going to have to be a Metrophodon. It's going to have to be. So this time we don't want to use Segnosuchus. We want to use creatures that are pretty darn decent though. Where's the health tank? Where's it? There's a Patasaurus. Put you in first. And now this is where it gets interesting. Hmm. Toxin. Toxin's good. I like toxin. As long as we stay in, right, we do damage. Deal 50% of attack start to enemy team at end of owner's turn. That's, that's going to be so... Like, that's a really freaking good one. Right? All you need to do is survive and you'll do 50% damage and that's a lot 
I mean, and for a Padasaur, it's not really. Um, a bleed. What? Oh, I've only got one bleed? Oh, no. After inflicting damage, deal 40% of attack stat at end of owner's turn. Four, three turns. But I think that's only... Does that only apply on one dinosaur? I think that might be as long as... Uh, uh, ooh, spikes. After being attacked, deal 50% attack. I like that. This is a new mod. We'll try that one. Um, so if anything, we can just give, give a Patasaurus a lot of health. Here we go. Here we go. Give him a lot of health and let's have him have loads of spikes. So a thousand extra health and then another a thousand two hundred extra health. Oh, he's, oh, he's up in the attack. Oh, oh, of himself. Oh, that's okay. Is it a hundred for each? <laughs> so, you know what? <clears throat> Going for reserve. Oh my god, this is so tough. And the, with the opponents I'm facing and the mods they're using. Oh god, that's like 5,000. Oh, well, at least we do half damage back. At least we can do half damage back. Spikes! Whoa, 300. Oh god, that's really not much, is it? Okay, so he's going to have two, right? So we can block for one and go for two reserves. We're definitely surviving. We can do little damage. Little damage. Oh, oh, does that... Oh, he went through it. The piercing bite. Oh, 800. But I've been hit. So that means you take 300 back. Woo. Right. So he went for one. I'm going to go for two block and three reserves now. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, he goes for it. He goes for it. Bam. Oh, he... oh no. Yeah, he... He... that's okay. We're doing little damages. Bam again. But now, now we can go on the assault. There we go. 10,000. Wallop. I mean, it's only going to get tougher now. But, uh, I mean, hey, let, let's go. Oh, you can kill me once. He's, he's going to go for three. Yeah, yeah. Do I do damage even though I've been hit? I, don't, I mean, no. Did that not, is that not how it works? Oh, no, it does. Yeah, there you go. 300 damage. <laughs> Woo. Okay, so I'm going to switch in a Lanqua, just because at this point it doesn't do anything. I could have had a good uh, flyer in, I suppose. Um, that's my bad. I mean, worst, worst case scenario here, I think he had five, didn't he? Um, or did he? Or did he? Mm, this could break it, make or break it. We got eight, so one, two, three, kills him. Factor in one, one, two, three... Oh, oh, that's good. I factored in one. I did factor just one. All right. A little bit less. And he's only got four. Ooh, he might have been able to kill me. Oh, two. So he's got two block. Can we kill him in three? Two, four, six. Is that enough? Is that enough? 2,000, 4,000, 6,000. Oh, I don't think it is. Because I factored in one extra, didn't I? And I got 9,000. So... He, he could have four. He could have five. Oh God, let's just, let's just test it. He's got five. He's got five. Uh, this is okay. If he goes for five, this is great. I mean, we've won. Please go for five. Yes. Oh my God. You, right. You couldn't get riskier than that. You couldn't. Oh, I was severely outmatched. I mean, even with the nerf, they're the same attack as me. And they're double the health. That was crazy. And I had an Alanqua level one. <laughs> James, you make it so much harder on yourself than it needs to be. I mean, pretty much. Like, an Alanqua is the same as everything that's got, like, 2,000 health. Because it dies in one hit. So, that's why I use that. But now I think we need two. Two Tyrannosaurs. Sorry, Pterosaurs. Oh, you kidding me? Metrophodon, really? Ah, <sighs> Segnosuchus has to go in. Uh, followed by some Pteranodons. But they can't be the best Pteranodons, though. Because they'll just die. Because, uh, sorry, I need them. I need them for the next turn. So there we go. Right. What are we going to do, guys? What are we going to do? Um, he's got a steal. He's got a steal. I don't like that steal. Because do we lose it once he steals it? Because if he swaps, he swaps in, and then he steals my my toxin. That's going to be so bad for my team. Hmm. Hum -de -hum -de -hum. Okay, let's go for it. Let's go for toxin. Let's go for toxin. Uh, and let's just boost their attack. Sorry, health. Here we go. 
I never use legendary mods. Let's see. Let's see. Wow. More health. Woo. 6,000. Good, good, good. Okay. Gives yourself a little bit more health. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, puts his own attack up. That's fine. Oh, 7,000. Right. So, I'm just going to go for a block here. Because no matter what happens, end of our turn. Boom. 2,300. Boom! 2,300. Boom! 2,300. Like that. That's awesome. Okay, what are you going to do now, son? What are you going to do? You can't do anything. Oh, he goes for it, but he doesn't do anything. <laughs> Two block again. End of my turn. 2,000. Bam! And another 2,000. Bam! Oh, we can do it. We can do it. Now he's got three. What's he, he can attack me now, though. I think we're going to... Oh, he did. He did. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now... He's going to have Toxin, right? He's going to have Toxin. Um, and he's going to do a load of damage to me. And he's going to have three. Um, mm. Oh, this is annoying. This is annoying. You know what? I'm going to go for three reserves. I'm going to go for three res reserves here. Because I'm going to kill him here. Boosh! Brings in the next one. Now he's going to steal it, I think, before it affects... Oh, no, it did. It affected him. Oh, all the damage. Wow, Quetzal has so much health. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. This is what I was worried about. You know what? I'm glad. I don't mind. I don't mind that. Only problem is now, he's going to do about 2,000 damage. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 2,000. That's probably killed it. Oh, it killed it. Oh, no. What oh, the... I've lost. I've lost. God damn it. Oh, I lost. Oh, no. Okay, that, that's pretty much impossible. Lydia, can you fix that? Either just tone them down. Don't have a level 1,000, like 20,000 health for that Quetzal. Oh, my God. Is there anything I could do? I mean, how much is it to buy back Segno? It's only 484. Okay, you know what? Sod, I'm not being defeated. I'm not being defeated. I do need... You see, what am I winning? I'm just winning a gold rewards pack. Like, and I'm already down 400 bucks. I'm not going to get that back. And really, unless I want DNA and creatures... I, I'm doing it for the VIP points. Really, that's what I'm doing it for. So, we'll go for Metrophodon as well. Um, it's just that steel. That steel is the most annoying thing. Um, I'm going to have to buy that back anyway. I need another flyer. I think I kind of... What's regenerate? Regenerate. Heal all hurt allied creatures for 25% of their max HP. Is that just at the start? Or is that when they come in? Because this says... At the end of the owner's turn. Hmm. We need toxin. We need to have toxin. You saw how good that is. Um, we need the health. We really need the health. Um... Endurance. I think that's the only thing I can do. If I've got to be honest, this is the best team I've got. Like, going from 5,000 health to how much? 6,500. I mean, he boosts himself a little bit. He still dies in two turns. Now, if we boosted our attack and then the toxin, the toxin would probably still kill him three turns, which is still a bit of a bugger. So get that toxin going. Get that toxin. I mean, we do what? We did two, four, six, almost 7,000. We did 7,000 damage over the entire team. And still I lost. Um, that's good. That's really good. Okay. Uh, we'll go for that now. Um, oh, he didn't. Okay, I was wondering. He could hit us for two here. Which is a bit of a shame. <laughs> it's 10%. It's 10% of Quetzal's health. That's ridiculous. Please don't hit me for two. Go for one. Maybe two. Not three. Come on. Oh, I'm definitely dead now. Um, right. Okay. I have to switch in Pterodactylus. I have to. He went for an all-out attack and kill him in two and then go for one reserve. Uh, it's a shame that I can almost kill him in one. But, uh, hey, tell you what. Steal my endurance. Uh, sorry, steal that. I think it only activates for the first one. 
I think he keeps that now. So toxin's still pretty decent. So yeah, two. Did he have three or did he have four? I can't remember. I can't remember. He had three. Okay, so one, two, he's dead. Uh, no, he went for two. One, two. I have to go for that. I have to go for that. I have to. Okay. Okay. This It's do or die. It's do or die. Um, I mean, he's going to go for three here out of his five. Oh, God. Oh, he's got two block. I can kill him in four, right? Easy. I can easy kill him in four. Like, one, two. He's dead in two. Yeah. Oh, my God. But... The one, the one that's the most annoying about this, or the thing that's most annoying, is that I'm losing my epic mods. You know, the golden ones that are so hard to come by. But we did it, the second battle down. And finally, three Tyranodons. And wow, wow. 4,000, 6,000 attack. He's just a point. He's got like a survive, a fatal blow, is that? Remain one health upon receiving lethal damage. So, this is impossible, man. Nah. Nah. There's no way. I don't think there's a way for me to do this. Unless I can nerf their attack. But they've got boosting their attack. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to spend any more books. I can't do this. I can't do this with a level 40 Metrovodon, a level 40 Pterodactyl, 40 Eudemorphodon. But, like, there's no way. I would need three Metrophodons because Pterodactylus just doesn't cut it. So, Lydia, please, please change that. Like, just make them not as crazy. I mean, I, I, I feel like I know what calculates the opponents I'm fighting, but you just need to change that, man. Like, this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, what, what are my creatures can face up against that? Yeah, you've got around about the same attack with Metrophodon, right? But my their attack is double. In some cases, triple. Tropogathrus Skeletor has double, like triple the, the health, which is ridiculous. Uh, I would have stood more of a chance doing these ones, if I've got to be honest. <laughs> Oh my God. Well, anyway, guys, there you go. I hope you found this educational somewhat and a little bit entertaining. I do try. And uh, yeah, whenever there's new things coming out, we'll cover them. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Thank you for watching. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye.